today I'm going to show you how to um, get the Null DLC Dreamcast emulator to work on your uh, on your machine. So in the description below I've included a torrent that I put up myself. Uh, so go there and download the torrent. And once you've done that, open up the folder torrent where we may have it saved uh, from whatever BitTorrent client you used. So go to this folder. The main trouble I had with this Null DLC was that everywhere I went I had to find all these crazy plugins and data files. But they're all here now, so you don't need to worry about them. Uh, these files and then this DLL for some reason I needed that too. So we have all those in the included in the downloads so you don't need to worry about them. Just click on the Null DLC Win32 release. You didn't see that, just again it's just here. So you just need to click on that. So you get this open. You can take this window to one side and minimize it. You're not really going to need that. And then if you just want to um, I have games downloaded. I'll include a link for those too where you can pick up the games. Especially this game Shemu, Which I think everyone should play once at least. If you want to test out my theory and my thing before just boot with no disk and it'll just boot the Dreamcast operating system. And so there you go. That should happen right off the bat. That was just file, normal boot. Okay, so I'm going to use a switch to a controller for a second just to show you. There you go. So this also required a plugin, which I got. So what you're going to need to do is go Options, Maple. So Options, Maple, Port A, which would be your first controller, and then Config Keys for Player 1. So you can click on that, and if you've got a controller set up on your computer, which you probably will need to, you just pick it from up here in this list. My one's already selected. And then you can just configure your buttons one by one. I'm sure if you've played a game before, you'll know what it is, so I won't need to explain that to you. So, once you have that done, then you need to worry about a memory card. Uh, I've already got them set up for you, so maybe you might want to just format my data. No big deal, I've only got one save anyway. So, those are set up for you as well. So, you can just go back, and once you've downloaded the game, the ROM, from the place I provided below, if you just go back up the file, and then just go normal boot. That won't work in this case. Once you've booted the OS, what you need to do is go options, GD ROM, which is here, second one, swap disk, and it'll bring you up this. So, in your case, when you've downloaded your game, if you've downloaded your desktop like I have here, you just click here, find your file. It's already in here, so I just click that and go open, and the uh, Dreamcast will do its thing. And then you can just boot your game just like that. So there you have it. Just to prove the naysayers. Because I never thought this would work myself. <laughs> yeah, just go to load. You see, no problem with saves or loads because I had a lot of trouble with that at first. And there you go. Take a trip back to the year 2000 and the year 1986 at the same time. So that's basically it. So you can save, you can whatever. So just sleep in this case. And there you go, the game should work without any trouble whatsoever.
Vediamo. Right, I gotta use the phone, so I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.